one theme that you hear over and over at Mayo Clinic is, can we do more with less? Meaning, can we give just as good, if not better outcomes, but minimize the impacts on patients? If you're a patient who's just been diagnosed with breast cancer, there's a number of cutting edge treatments really throughout uh, the spectrum of care. From the surgical standpoint, there has been a lot of uh, changes. Uh, where historically we used to take the patients initially to the operating room um, and then after surgery they would receive their systemic therapy. Now increasingly what we're doing is evaluating that patient together as a multidisciplinary team and considering them actually for systemic therapy first. This is what we call in the neoadjuvant setting. We will consider giving them either their chemotherapy or some tablet therapy called endocrine therapy first for a period of three months to six months and then proceeding to the operating room after we know that that tumor has been exposed to that medical therapy and has hopefully decreased in size and in many cases completely shrunken away and disappeared. The surgery is much smaller and as a result the cosmetic outcome is much better. We've seen a huge uptick in our use of nipple spraying mastectomy which not only keeps the skin of the breast but it also keeps the nipple in the areola. And so from a cosmetic outcome and from a standpoint of how that patient looks in the mirror, that breast is going to look a lot more natural. For patients who have breast conserving surgery, meaning a lumpectomy and keeping the remainder of their breast, they are usually always recommended to receive radiation as a component of their treatment. Proton Beam has been a huge addition to our ability to treat patients with the best therapies possible. Proton Beam radiation has uh, less side effects on the adjacent organs. Um, another huge advance has been just decreasing the overall time of treatment for radiation. Hypofractionation in the appropriate patients. In simple terms what that means is we're more often uh, going to treat a woman with as few as three to four weeks of radiation instead of six to eight weeks of radiation um, when it's the right solution. It's like every year at the national meeting there's something new coming out, a new drug, a new technique, a new approach. Um, and so that from the physician standpoint is exciting because you're continually challenged, right? And from the patient standpoint it means that there is a lot of opportunity, there's a lot of hope.